I'm back. Now, I got another ultra mount. This is actually a different one that I'm working on. I figured I'd throw this up uh, just to show you what you have to do in order to get to the filter. Take the, um, basically the little bucket off uh, and the whole bit. So, I already took it off. This is your filter here. Your two filters actually uh, that sucking sucking in return. So these are your filters here. This is your main one. This is the one you have to be mostly concerned with. This sucks up into your motor um, pump up here and then distributes. Now don't be afraid to take this tank off because what you have is you have four little screws okay that hold the tank in place one is here one's up here here and two on the other side what you have is you actually have an o-ring that runs around right here that's what you that's what actually seals your tank so don't be afraid to take those four off pull this down and clean this tank it's very important to clean the tank because if you don't clean the tank you will get sludge up into the pump into your pistons and you'll actually destroy a lot of your components so this is basically what you'll find in the tank hopefully it's a lot better than this one this one's pretty bad there's a lot of sludge in here okay so once you get this down okay you're gonna clean all this in here and this is a magnet that's actually inside the tank clean this extremely well and make sure you don't put it down on the your workbench with a lot of metal flake it'll get stuck right to it just common sense but I figured I'd say it anyway clean this magnet the best you can this has a lot of crap on it and clean that the best you can what I would suggest is before you uh, put that tank back up, um, I would actually try to clean this O-ring, clean the O-ring with a paper towel or whatever, and then put maybe light, light oil on it. Do motor oil or even the Western oil, hydraulic oil that you're putting in here. Um, like my other video, I show how to change the uh, oil on this. Two, two to three quarts depending on what you're doing if you're draining all the pistons out you're probably going to be doing like three and a half quarts but take some of this on a rag um, I use the original factory uh, western hydraulic oil uh, throw some on a rag and just go around this o-ring here just to lubricate it so when you put the tank back on you could get it on and it doesn't bind up on you so basically that's it it's not difficult to take this tank off and clean it just be careful when you're putting it back on you don't score chip this o-ring because then it'll leak and you don't want to get water in your system okay so if you have any questions comments let me know and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up all right take care